What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were kind of trying to get our, um, whatchamacallit, our mining drone in our bay. And it wasn't working out too well. Uh, thankfully, we've actually made a bit more progress. As the uh, little guys in here. Now, there's a couple things I'm probably still going to do. Uh, namely, smack myself in the head and ask myself why was I so set on using two different kinds of airlock doors or hangar doors. Uh, in particular, why did I use these when I could have just used these further over? I don't know. Would have given me more room. Um, yeah, not really sure. How much more room does this actually give me, by the way? So. Wow, I can't visually count today, apparently. So these go out two from their frame. And this would be one, two. Well, it would help if they could actually, like, show me. Um, no, no. Control panel, what are you doing? And blah, 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 blah. Double link, let's just open one. Okay, so if these guys are one and they go out two, I could have just counted the difference. Anyways, <coughs> these are two and they go out four. So it's five blocks different in total, I believe. Or let's just be the smart person and say they're six blocks long, so I need to go six blocks from this point. Could do that. That would have been the smarter move. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, okay, while I'm doing this, I did change up the a little bit of how the system is set up in terms of where it's actually connecting. So it's actually connecting from the top now, which did work. It was a suggestion I got from a comment, and it did work. Uh, why can I not place you there? Maybe because you're extended? Uh, no, I need the one that's closed. There you are. Is that what's keeping me... No. Why are you not letting me place there? Is it because of the ship? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The ship's actually in the way. Just does not want to work with me. Now, uh, basically the main reason I'm doing this is just to give myself more crash space, in essence. Why can I not take out more than one of these rotor heads? That's really annoying. Um... Because you'll notice I have plenty of room in between where this is and where the hangar doors are, and those were right on the edge, and the drills kept getting caught every time I would bring the ship up to dock. It kept getting hooked, and I didn't like that. So I'm basically just giving myself a little more breathing room with this. Uh, where's my drone control? Remote. There you are. I don't want to control from you. Let's unlock and descend. Alright. Should be good. Now. Thank you. So that gives... Actually, that's kind of cool if I'm looking at this correctly because that's... Eight blocks. Eh, it isn't quite even. I thought it was smack dab in the middle, which would have been kind of cool. But there is no middle, so that's not going to work. Um, Alright, so let's highlight drone and hangar doors, and let's do hangar, and we'll add all of these guys. Set the ownerships. I forget how this... Oh, I guess I'll just control click them all. Save that. Now these should open and close together. Sweetness. So... The original post or comment was actually talking about having a retrieval system that I actually would have preferred to do, and I'm going to explain why I didn't do it that way. Um, so
so pretty much, actually, now that I'm looking at this too, I see another issue as to why it's causing a bit of a problem. I have that connector too far over, and I have a solar panel on top of the connector. How did that happen? I don't want a solar panel in the way there. Um, yeah, that's in the middle, but the connector is actually off to the right. Yeah, okay, that's going to be part of the problem. Uh, so while I've got this open, I will explain my thought process. So, what happened was essentially that this... Um, I, I, had, I didn't have enough space, so as you can see, I had to bring the conveyor through the wall and embed it up above. Because, on a technical level, this camera acts as a block. So I needed to make sure that in terms of block height, I could account for it. Um, and if I put the connector up in here like this, then I was afraid the camera was going to smash against the roof. So I brought it down one, which actually worked, because that connector nozzle is actually down a block inset into the, dr into the drum. So that worked out for that. But the problem with a piston system, which is what was originally talked about, was like putting a piston here and then having it extend down, grab it, and bring it back up. I actually really like that. The problem with that I ran into was this. That one block above us is the floor of the ship. Which basically meant I really didn't have room, even with a one, blo uh, a one block height piston like this guy. Now that I'm kind of looking at it though, if I brought the... Okay, okay, we have something hypothetical to look at here. Which could end up being kind of cool. If it works the way that I'm thinking it might. Don't get your hopes up. It's just thinking in my head. Ah, crud muffin. I always do that. I don't know why the small blocks are literally so tiny that you have to have like a 3x3 three three space to get your character out. I mean, I, I might, my astronaut might need to lose some weight, but he's not that fat. Like, why do I need all this room? Anyways, a <laughs> little bit of monologue there. Um, so, what I'm thinking is this. If I actually brought the conveyor out... I don't like that idea now that I'm really looking at it because it would basically involve a pipe like this being here um, and a conveyor and stuff and I don't think I can put the cables like this stuff I don't think I can put these wires and stuff along that I could put glass maybe but I don't know if the collision bleh, box would mess with it well you know what only one way to find out let's just try this um, and which one do I keep using? It's that one. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Um, glass pane. Ooh, did I add a new one? I must have added a new mod. Ah, airlock. I totally had an airlock door. Did not know that. Um, where is just? Are they windows? They're windows, aren't they? I thought it was under glass. No, it's under window. Okay, window flat. So let's just try... Why can I not place you? I can place it there. I can't place it there. Huh. Weird. Also weird is it says it has more than one, but it's not scrolling and doing anything. That's very odd, actually. Uh... Let's try one of you. See if you're any different. Nope, you're not letting me attach to anything. I can build there. And if I build it across, it's visible. But it, there's nothing attached to That's funky. Ooh, you know what else we could try? I never thought of this. Conveyor. Where is that one? I think it might not be for. 
Yeah, it's only for large ships, the pipe with the platform. That would have been a neat trick. Um, okay. I don't need a big conveyor tube. I added some other conveyor mods that I really haven't used. Hmm. Well... Tell you what, let me tinker with this because I think that might be a better solution just to be able to retrieve the thing from here. Now, with that said, I probably should double check and make sure that this is even doable. And what I mean by that is let's place... I don't know which direction it's facing. That's the wrong one. Wow! Okay, that went flying. That was interesting. Alright, there we go. Now, the only thing is, I believe that these pistons have the conveyor port. It looks like it does right there. Okay, we have a distance. Let me see if I can attach a connector to this. I can't from there, which means I will have to um, distance, 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 distance. Where's the? Oh wait, why am I attached to a jump drive? What the heck? That's weird. Tiny. Okay, you're the. Wait, why is it all yellowed? This is still part of the main ship. What the heck is wrong with you? Um, okay, safety lock speed, velocity max, distance, minimal distance. So let's extend him out a minute. And we're going to set the minimal distance to... What did I end up doing these landing gear ones on? Oh, it was because I was connected through the head. That's what it was. Never mind, false alarm. Uh, minimal distance is 0 0.05. So we're going to do... 0 0.05 safety lock speed velocity maximal distance is that a thing? one okay how far see that does not go out very far to actually retrieve it now it might make it easier but it's not in fact really going to actually like attach or not attack, but I mean like come down here and get it. I'm still gonna have to fly the ship up a little bit. Now, with that in mind, let's actually test out and see if this would even work. Oops. Um, and it's also not seeming to like move my ship around very much at all, which is kind of annoying that when it's actually, gosh, I'm going to break this thing. When it doesn't actually like, like that, it gets all sloppy and kind of weird, but it doesn't auto-correct it like it usually does when you attach to a piston. So now it's there. See how badly it's connected? It's way off to the side. It usually, the, the connector's usually like, I don't know, auto-grab you kind of thing and pull you in. This isn't really doing that at all. So I'm not a fan of that. Now, let's see if I can get this to even do what I'm thinking. Okay, it is retrieving it. Though, again, it's really weird and kind of not functional. Now, let's risk it and see if the door hangers will close with it like that. Ooh. Okay, yeah, no, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. And it's also not good that it stopped either. <laughs> okay, no, that's... Ah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so suffice to say, we're not doing that again. <laughs> that, that's just not happening. 
Um, Alright. Now, actually, one thing I do want to see is what is this? Is this visible? Ooh, it's not, is it? Well, hello there. Okay, that is. Bummer. So I can go that far out without it being an impact. Okay. Um, so now I did go ahead and move the connector over one, though, and left the rest of it the way it was. So let's see what that does in terms of getting stuff going. And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Let's use the spectator camera to actually see what we're doing. Now, I know that some may say, well, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing anyway, but this is mainly just testing to make sure all this stuff works the way I want it to. Not that it's like the actual way I'm probably going to end up doing things. Uh, now, this does put it a little bit close to the edge, which I'm not a fan of. Oop. I still don't have the uh, solar panel taken care of. And I'm not entirely sure that... Um, I guess that happened when I reloaded it. I'm not entirely sure that this is set to me either. Nope, it's not. Okay. That was pointed out in the comments as possibly being a problem last time as to why it wasn't hooking up right, so I wanted to go ahead and fix that. Okay. Let's switch back in here. Ooh. It is very, very weird to try and pilot a ship in like third person. Ooh, that was heavy. Okay. Now it's still not really adjusting it to like grab hold of stuff, but it does seem to be doing okay with connecting it and it looks like it's clearing the hangar doors, which I know this way would clear before. So it shouldn't have any issues before. On a side note, at least we know how the shields work now. Because that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> the shields, like, going all crazy were actually a little interesting. I actually didn't know that that mod had added the visible uh, representation of them. I thought that was just back when they did the digital mod. So... Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do anything differently, because to be honest, let's see. <sighs> yeah, I don't know of a better way to do it, to, to be quite honest, that if I went vertically, it's just going to be um, further over, which would make it harder to work with. If I do the side again, which I could replace the camera where it is with the side camera, uh, not the, could replace the camera with the connector on the side, um, that may actually behoove us to do in the long run, uh, mainly just because of the whole, like, having to deal with going vertical and the verticality may not really help all that much. It might hurt us in clearing these doors. And it doesn't really help us to put it up on the top when you're also looking at not having a piston retraction system to help it. So I may go back and change that at some point, but I'm kind of done working on it for now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and build this up a little bit. Come on, why does it always want to go towards me? I want it to go out and then up. Whenever I hit shift, it like comes back towards me. It's really annoying when it does that constantly. Okay, let's go out like this. Oh, I don't know where I'm placing blocks. Oh, apparently way out here, because that makes no sense at all. See? Like that. Go up. It always wants to come towards me. I don't get it. Go away. Uh, for this part, just to match the other one, I may do some of this tomfoolery here. 
Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Add a little decorative flare. There we go. That kind of matches the the other side over here. It's a little off, but eh, who cares? Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and seal this up, I think, for now, since it's kind of on the finito side. I will more than likely probably go back and replace the side camera with a connector and put the camera over top is more than likely what I'll end up doing because I think that'll be a little more conducive to what we're trying to to do. Uh, now, let's see. The next step is I think I'm going to try and do some fixed weapons down here. So I tell you what, let's make ourselves an access point, like right in here. It'll be a fairly large gap so we can kind of poke our head around and see where things are and are not. I do think I'm going to end up having to tie off of that conveyor or punch a hole somewhere else and find a connection point before I really get into placement. But I want to place them, wire them up first maybe. That's probably a better idea. Um, well, making sure they'll all work and things. So, alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of these, get rid of those, not going to need them. Let's grab hinges. Because who knows, conveyor hinge, small hinge is probably what I really want to use more than the large. Yeah, I don't want the large ones. And let's do the compact stuff. So conveyor adapters. And some other bits and bobs. I'm going to tinker around with this a little bit because I have no idea how long this is actually going to take for me to figure out how I want to work with any of this stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to come back and I'll see what we've come up with. Alrighty, so as you can see along the bottom, I decided to change what I was going to do because it just wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, this thing has a crap ton of firepower now. So, here's what we do. We're going to re uh, reverse our fixed weapon pistons. Ta-da! All right, so as you can see, I went a little crazy with the underbelly here, um, and I did leave this hole because actually it was recommended to do some kind of rover or mining, welding, something, another kind of drone, because this is our mining one over here, but it's more of an automated. Uh, this is more for like if you were landing on a planet and wanted to um, be able to basically ride around and not fly your ship all over the place. So I may do one of those. I left a little more space to give me a bit more room to do one. Now, there's a couple things with this. One, we could simply scrap that and go, nope, we're just going to make this a bigger drone and move from there to there. Or we could keep this as our little autonomous mining drone, and this is more of a rover. The latter of which I kind of like, it makes the ship a little more diverse. We have a mining ship, and then we have a rover for on planets, then we have our weapons, blah, 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 blah. So I like that idea. Height will be an issue, um, mainly because I hope I don't break anything. That's the floor. So I can't really go above that without changing the floor, which is not entirely impossible. It's just something I'd rather not do. Um, I think I'm going to scrap this side project over here on the side panels. I don't think we're going to end up doing that. So tell you what, just for completionism, let's just go ahead and fix this real quick. Uh, okay, we're going to go up like this. Um, let's see have there. Was that just block? I think that was just block. Oops. Let's just do... Yeah. Okay, so that works. Okay. And... Let's go ahead and put our... I guess those don't have to be heavy, but whatever. Those could have been light armor. And then we'll seal this in. 
and seal that in. We'll call that a day. So the side's finito. Uh, like I said, that's open as far as if I came up with something that would be good, like antennas or beacons or something, I could, but eh, it just feels kind of like with all these guns and stuff, we, we, did, our, we did our job. Um, so let me go over what's going on here, because this is a lot of firepower, but it was basically an effort for diversity. So I put conveyors and then the tiny pistons and connected them to the compact conveyors. And much like what's exposed here, these compact rocket weapons and stuff have these long slots on the side, and these conveyors have one on each side that's now covered up. So basically, it's going to go conveyor through the piston to the conveyor, and then to the rockets, so we won't have to go out and reload them manually. But these are our two biggest ones, or two sets of biggest ones anyway. They're the uh, 400 millimeter, and then there's 100 millimeter, and the four barrel are 200 millimeter. And then we have the azimuth Gatling guns. I didn't end up using the Bulldogs because of their inaccuracy. I was afraid if I put them further on the back, they'd end up shooting one of my other turret weapons, or fixed weapons. So we've got our big guns right out front here. So you, if you got hit from the front nose, you're going to get hit with four 400 millimeter rockets, which just sounds devastating. I haven't actually tested to see what their instructions like, but it sounds bad. Uh, then I put the azimuth chain guns, and because of these having conveyor slots all the way around them, they're going to connect through this middle one. So I did a three barrel, basically, and extended it... Um, a little bit longer than what these are. These are all 5x5 five five rings with a 3x3 three three, um, connection to the piston, and then these are 5x7, I think, because the long barrel sticks out a little further. They had a short barrel one, I just thought the long barrel one looked cooler, so I went with that one. Uh, here's our 100 millimeter, so they're the smaller missiles, but more barrels, and then the 200 millimeters are back here. Uh, and I did end up using blast door blocks instead of standard blocks, but I also took away the minimal distance, and there doesn't seem to be any collision issues. They seem to retract, and they're fairly flush with the floor. They're not perfect, I don't think, but that could just be that I can't get flush with the floor either, because from a distance they look a lot better. Up close, they seem to be sticking out a little bit, but I'm not real worried about it. Um, so, yeah. So those will all tuck up into the underbelly, which I thought was cool. The other thing I thought was interesting about this idea, about this middle part, I backed up and realized that's kind of like a Star Destroyer, that they have the bay, the hangar bay, in the middle. I totally forgot about that. Uh, but they do actually have that big compartment in the bit, uh, under the bottom the underbelly section it is a little further up it's like over in this area rather than back here i mean we could move that if we really wanted to i was actually trying to stay away from the weapons more so than trying to like do anything real symmetrical or anything like that i was really just trying to keep away um so that i didn't end up doing too much to the weapons all right so this would be eight blocks in so we could clear that and then add oh these are lights let me do oops i had them right there let me do heavy so we'll do eight up and you wouldn't have to do this i'm just i liked that space so eh, that's still a little bit close actually i might take it back a few let's try three take this back by three I think and then we'll add three to this there I like that better it's a little more centered and out of the way kind of thing and we can adjust that size if we want to we've got more room on the side um, and stuff like that but I didn't realize that would kind of fit the whole uh, Star Destroyer feel of getting pulled into the... It wouldn't be the same as capturing a ship with a tractor beam or something. It would be more so for um, the dis deployment of your rover. Now, 
there's one other fun fact that I found out. Um, I was like, well, now I need to connect all this. How am I going to do that? I have no idea how I'm going to do this, right? Um, actually, I am going to pause real quick and save this. Oh, that must have been... The, for, at the angle I was at, that one launcher looked like it was being uh, twisted. So I'm going to save this as it is, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to wire these up to the conveyor system. Okay, so... Now that we got everything saved as is, in case I break something, which I accidentally did at one point while I was already experimenting with this, um, I thought to myself, how am I going to get up in here because my character's too fat, he he's, needs three blocks to move around. And I experimented with this and I didn't realize it would work, but if you hit F8 and you go to your spectator mode where your character is stationary and you're moving around, well, if, your case, if your character's having a seizure or something. I realized that it basically detaches from the character model and now your building block goes off of the actual spectator camera and I was like, oh my, really? And I totally did not realize this conveyor system was right here. Oh, that's actually really convenient to get a pipe going down here. All right. Okay, that changes some stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going... Now, I have to account for this being a rover area as well. So I don't necessarily want to build straight across as much as I'd like to kind of build back and around. So here's what I think we're going to go with. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking as I'm doing this. Uh, the only bad thing is I don't get my HUD lamps with me as I fly around like this. So, okay. As long as this all ends up tying together, it shouldn't really matter how all this goes. So if we stretch this across, this should connect to this one. So there's two connections. Now, for this part, you know what, I am going to do mirror mode here, just for basically the symmetricalness, if you will, to see where stuff ends up and where, it, where I don't want it. Um, so we'll do like this. No, how do I get it to, there we go, like that. And then we'll put one here. Now, from this point, let's just bring a two this way. We will separate the oh, crud. See, that's the kind of stuff that happens that I forget about, and it ends up... I did that trying to tie in, actually, to the uh, mining drone over here. I tried to disconnect this up here and turn it into a um, a conveyor and come down and when I did this whole thing wiggled broke apart and my shields went ballistic again and everything was awful. So don't do that. Okay so that's connect. Actually what I'm gonna do here is replace this with a conveyor instead of that because that connects that should work because the reactor room ties in to the whole system, like everything else. Oh, and I did actually activate air, so the air system should be working again, by the way. And it is, but it isn't. It's working, but because it's not all red, but obviously something's exposed or something. Now, it is interesting in spectator mode, you can't access things. Like, I can't access the controller panel, um, but you can build, and I didn't know that. So, on this side, now what we're going to do is turn mirror mode off, and we're going to get rid of these, because it doesn't really need them, because it's all connected through this. Now we can turn it back on, and keep going about our merry way. So, let's see. Let's do... How do we want to do this? We could go... Like... 
this and see where we end up. My concern is just putting the um, the conveyor so close to the wall that if something breaks, you'd be basically setting your weapon systems up for vulnerable spots, and I'm not a fan of that. Actually, we're going to put a curve there, because I don't really need a conveyor there, and then we'll tie off of this conveyor to do that. But this is way, 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 way easier than working... Ooh, that's really cutting it close, isn't it? Tell you what, instead of doing that, let's go down from this one and see where that brings us out at. Because that's actually going to pass those landing gear pistons. I wasn't sure if it would clear them, but it does. Sweet. Okay, that works much better. I like that. Okay, so front weapons, middle weapons... I'm pretty sure all of our weapons are now hooked up, and we've left this clear for the, the rover. Now, there's a couple things we can do with this now, as far as I could change and put the connector here on our drone and have a pipe coming out this way for it to connect to, which I may do, actually. Um, that might be the most beneficial... Uh, we can turn that off. The other reason I can do that is because of the potential of a rover here. In doing that, um, I'm trying to get the exact... Uh, in doing that, we could actually set this up to have a pipe. Um, let's actually just put one here for the rover in case we want to connect to it. And, like I said, this one will probably go off of here and tie that in to the drone. I'd like, I think I like that better than the way it's working right now. And I could use this camera for positioning and then use the front camera to align with the connector or something to that effect. Or have a camera, like, over the connector this way or this way or something and fly it in that way. I think a front camera with as much space as I've given the ship here I think will work better. Um, like if this is the door and the door frame stops right there then what I might do is bring a connector with a port out like this far and that gives you a little bit of room over here that you can just bring it straight up and then connect it without running into anything. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll probably do that off camera real quick after I wrap this episode up, but just know I am probably going to do it that way. But yeah, so that's kinda cool. You can use Spectator Mode to build. Didn't know that. Um, let me know what you guys think about all that stuff and stuff and things and rover ideas and so on and whatnot. And I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!